The, the picture, the photo, the YouTube is dramatic, but I don't think it's any more dramatic or any more urgent than the state of our economy. Our economy has deflated. I'll let you start with the Vikings. <laughs> well, we, 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 we talked about that, and, uh, you know, I, again, uh, I read what, with interest, what Senator Rosen indicated, uh, that there would be something forthcoming at the end of January. I mean, I think uh, I would agree, and again, I defer to the legislature in this in terms of the realistic way in which major decisions like this are made, at least in my n nine legislative sessions that I've been involved in from the executive branch in the past is that uh, they tend to you know, get resolved near the end of the session. And I think we obviously need some time to uh, bring the Vikings forward with uh, proposals to see what uh, financing proposals others have. I'm very much willing, uh, indicated, to be involved, not just to be on the sidelines and you know, just to shoot down proposals uh, after they've been developed, but to engage in that process from the very beginning. And, and, you know, we'll have to look at the various options for sites, for financial participation. And, you know, I've said all along it can't be coming out of the general fund. The, if there is a bonding being issued for the purpose of the stadium, that it needs to be paid off with the such uh, things as uh, surcharges on tickets and beverages and and souvenirs and the like. So in other words, paid off by the, the users and the beneficiaries of the stadium. And I've said that any public cost has to be more than offset by the public benefits, like any economic development project, where the benefits from projections, I've seen 8,000 construction jobs over three years, and the taxes paid by those people who are, many of whom are not working today, who would be working. And the contractors and the subcontractors, the revenues uh, they gain, and therefore the taxes they and their employees pay. And all that economic um, stimulation and the multiplier effect of it, as you get with a major economic development project, all those benefits to the, the people of Minnesota, to the state, to our offsetting our, our budget deficit, uh, weigh any public cost. If we can devise that kind of proposal, and the legislature obviously has, has the lead on it in terms of uh, its passage, uh, then I'll be supportive of it. Governor, does the urgency increase at all with the dome deflation and the image around the nation of this destruction at the dome? Does that add any urgency to this? Well, I, I mean, <laughs> it's a stark picture, having been in, the, in there last Sunday morning, and uh, Seeing, seeing, you know, its uh, condition there, and you know, I, I've not had a chance to talk to the uh, chair Terwilliger, for whom I have a high regard, and, and others there, and obviously, I think they're still making the assessment too of what's uh, going to be possible in terms of the repair or the replacement, and and then, you know, it, it underscores, I think, again, that this is a, an aging facility. And, and it's one that, you know, the Vikings have in, indicated they're uh, not going to renew a lease for. So I, I would expect, and I haven't had any conversation with them, that the, that would, uh, this would be further reason for them to, to, to reaffirm that stance. But again, I, I think that if you look at the, the history of the Metrodome, it was built uh, for $55 million, authorized for 60. They built it in, right in the aftermath of the 82 recession, put people back to work. The bonds were paid off. I think the uh, the uh, blink uh, blink tax uh, blinked on once, but basically those bonds were paid off uh, through the Sports Facilities Commission by the proceeds from the stadium and the revenues gained. And the you know site's been used, and it's not quite applicable now because you had then the Twins and the Vi uh, Vikings and the Gopher, and you had youth athletics, and there was revenues as uh, you know purpose designed very I thought skillfully for the uh, amateur sports uh, commission and the like. And there's rollerblading on the week uh, nights, and near near and dear to my heart, Rolling Stone concerts and Monster <laughs> Mash uh, uh, truck events, and the whole uh, uh, you know use of the facility is one that has generated over the course of uh, three decades now a multiple benefit. Forgive me, yeah. Just add urgency to, to this. I don't know that it adds urgency. I, th I think it, it underscores the imperative, but uh, the reality of the situation, given the condition of the, the facility. But, you know, I mean, I, again, I defer to the experts. I think they're, I'm guessing they'd probably say you could reinflate it, repair it, reinflate it, and it would still be a functional facility in its present form. I mean, this didn't happen uh, except under unusual circumstances, although they weren't that 
totally rare in Minnesota. But, but I, you know, again, I think that the, the, the urgency exi that existed before is probably hasn't been affected in terms of something needing to happen in this legislative session. But uh, the imperative may have been added to it, but I'll defer to the legislative leadership on that. <laughs> well, and, and Pat, yeah, you, I mean, your question, the, the picture, the photo, the YouTube is dramatic, but I don't think it's any more dramatic or any more urgent than the state of our economy. Our economy has deflated. Our state jobs picture has flatlined. So, you know, we might have spent a minute and a half in our session today with Governor Dayton talking about the Metrodome, but we really got to do the first things first, okay? And uh, we've got a significant budget challenge. Uh, as we like to say, we don't just have a budget deficit, we have a jobs deficit. And so we want to we want to focus like that on that issue, on the jobs issue, on small business, and we want to do that with a relentless everyday uh, focus. Um, so I know we love our football and we love our Vikings, um, but first things first, and we've got a massive economic challenge in front of us.